Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you an easy 66% win rate carry Warwick jungle setup and that is with press the attack, triumph, alacrity with last stand, celerity, and water walking. The setup is mainly around mobility in the early game and winning scuttle fights and then it transitions into being a bruiser tank in team fights. So pretty much everything you want to be on Warwick. We're actually going to be rushing titanic hydra and uh, we're going to be pushing into against their team they're not that uh melee heavy so i'll probably just go divine sunder instead of sunfire aegis sunfire aegis is still good on warwick it's just been nerfed a lot so titanic into divine should be pretty strong we actually had an afk on our team there ivern can't actually she can't hit monsters hecarim did an early gank bot side he definitely should have done that he only has blue buff right now four cs that means he's only done one camp We'll, we'll three camp invade him. Generally on Warwick, you can beat most champions on one versus one to the death unless they take Ignite. If they take Ignite, you might want to avoid them unless you have way more health in them at the time of you fighting them. I'm going to smite the Gromp early. That way we get more attack speed from our W. If anything is below half health or below a quarter health, you get some juicy attack speed. We're getting some of this free trail and the water walking. We should get to his red buff pretty quick and we'll wait for him there. We could just start it since our smite's about to be up. He might take a while getting over here since he did blue buff straight in the gank. He may have even invaded my jungle. I'll smite this early. The point of going ghost on Warwick is it scales better and you have it more to gank than you do with flash. Flash is still a great option to take on Warwick with that being said. Uh, this is looking pretty, pretty free. Lily tops busted strong. I played it. It's really, really good. I just need her to push the wave a little bit and then I'll run up into Kel. We're gonna get in the melee, turn on our E, auto attack, Q through, fear, and then we're gonna walk out. It looks like Lilia didn't actually hit her when I did that for whatever reason. We're gonna Q through her. We got our E on. Q him for the hill, he gets feared. Oh, and we get him. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I don't I don't know what happened there. We were tanking the turret. We auto attack Q reset on the Kel, and it was like weird. It was like Lilia didn't actually hit the Kel, so that, that kind of turned awkward. I held on to my ghost because she's so low on, health, low on health. I was going to run her down anyways. We're going to smite it to take off its shield. Warwick's a pretty decent counter against Hecarim. With your fear damage reduction, he can't really kill you. And Warwick goes into Super Saiyan mode when he's low on health, he gets extra healing. And when they're low on health, you get extra attack speed. So pretty hard for them to deal with. We have a really good first back. On your first back, if you can get it, team at, it's really your best option. We'll grab a team at, we'll grab our boots, push back out onto the map. Enemy bot lane's pushed up pretty far. I have a cheesy Rengar Ivern bot lane. There's actually a, a duo who does this. Like They do a lot of boosting and you'll see them quite a bit anywhere from platinum to low masters because you can't do after masters but they generally have like 80 percent win rate strat works really well against uncoordinated bot lanes but uh if they're coordinated then it's just kind of like a bad strat that's generally what cheese is, is it's not inherently good it's just only good because the person you're doing it against doesn't isn't familiar with it I'm gonna go ahead and leave this area. The enemies are backing off anyways. I think Hecarim's on Scuttle, maybe Dragon. He control worded it, guess he doesn't want me to get it. So for your mechanics on work, your Q's an auto attack resetter and your Q has more range than your auto, so you generally auto and then Q. You don't wanna generally lead in with Q. You wanna max W first, cause per level it gives way more stats than what your Q gives. Some players like to put three or four points in W and then they like to max Q. I'm of the mindset like per level, W just gives way more stats, might as well max W first. Q, the whole point of it is to be an auto attack resetter and also when you hold it down over them, if they flash or dash, blink, any kind of movement, you'll it'll follow them like glue. Getting close to level 6, 
probably getting Cal. I don't think she has flash. I'll just ghost in behind her. I don't know where their mid laner is at. This W speed up's really good because I have celerity and I also uh, maxing W. I'm gonna turn on my ghost, run this guy down, auto attack into Q and he's dead. Feels nice having ghost. We're gonna RM, auto attack Q through. We're gonna use our potions, hit him with the fear. Oh, there we go, baby. It's all about that Warwick carry. A ghost is actually, it gives you more options than flash because it, it's on a, a minute and a half shorter cooldown as well and it outscales the flash. Flash is only better for literally your first gank and that's it. Outside of that, ghost is just like better on Warwick. It's really hard for melee champions to scrap with you. Like I said, if they don't have ignite, they can't beat you because the lower on health you are, the more you heal off of your autos and your Q and your R. And the lower they are, you just get absurd attack speed. I get 100% attack speed bonus against them if they're low enough. That's why you W max. And with this setup, Celerity Water Walking, like when Hecarim sped up away with my W, I was literally faster than him. And my W speed up lasts longer than his, so that there wasn't much he could do there. He just needs to avoid me as much as possible. I'll come over here. They're inside of my W range. I'm not actually going to go in because my teammates are dead. We need the enemies to shove up a little bit more. They're pretty fed too. When you look at their items compared to mine, I'm sitting on a lot of gold. So in terms of relative strength, they're not like really weaker than me. I don't think the skink is going to work. Rengar's too far behind. He's low on health. Like if I go in, I'm just going to get two manned. My Rengar watches me from the closet. So first item rush, we're going Titanic. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up tier two boots. Might as well. They get Dragon for free, of course. Mid lane, bot lane are getting soloed at the moment. Top lane is doing pretty well. Kel's having trouble last hitting. Uh, Titanic's a really good first item rush, especially if you're ahead early. Tiamat's your most important item on Warwick. If you're not going to build Tiamat on Warwick, then uh, a lot of the times you got to go Sunfire Aegis so you can AoE clear camps like Raptors and Golems. If you refuse to build Tiamat and you refuse to get Sunfire Aegis, then you need to go for Gore Drinker. Gore Drinker gives you a little bit of AoE, which, which can help out with your like Raptors and Golems and whatnot. Just some basic Warwick itemization. We're not necessarily behind her, but we have a lot of space to chase her, so we're going to W from Bush, where she can't see us. We already got her Flash. She's dead. We queued through the minion and hold it down to swing through the, the other side to get to her. Since she flashed away early, I didn't have time to queue attach before she flashed. The enemies are all kind of grouping at bot side, I assume, because they're missing on the map and my teammates are dead. I wasn't actually looking on the mini map at the time. So I'm just going to guess they're all over there, which means we're going to take Scuttle and we're going to take uh, the Herald. Your trails stay on the enemies. Like, let's say Lux gets above half health here. My actual visual blood trail will stay on her for like another five seconds, but I'll lose the movement speed bonus. Hopefully she doesn't try to steal this from me. You want to let your jungler last hit it. That way they get the bonus XP because they have jungle item. Our ghost is up. I would like to just W from bush. I already have movement speed from the bot lane. I have my Eon. I'm gonna Q through. Fear. He's dead. We're gonna need to get first turret and end this game. Our team is not performing. If you're in a situation like this, if your team's not performing early game, generally if it goes late game, you're gonna lose because uh, basically it's just matchmaking difference. What the hell? Did Sacrum just smite that from me. He's watching me do his Raptors. He's going for his red buff, but he literally can't. We're gonna auto attack him, Q through. He just took a bunch of damage, and now I'm gonna take his thing. I have more items than him. I also have tier two boots, so I'm pretty much faster. They're gonna have to three man pinch me, and even then, they're gonna have trouble killing me. I got my Eon. I feared him. I could have Arden to finish him there, but. 
Didn't really want to. Thought I could kill him without it. My period blood is giving me a good trail. Got him. I should say his period blood. Uh, I'm gonna ghost to get away. This situation is about to turn really shitty. They're mid and supports chasing me. So I'm gonna ghost and uh, get the heck out of here before it's too late. It looks like they're mid stop chasing me for whatever reason. I would like to get this uh, turret. Getting first turret gold and turret plates is really nice. Uh, I don't think we can. Trist is too much. Oh, is that's coming? Lux doesn't have snare. Zed's just taking 10 years to go in. Like, we can't go in now. He was acting like he was going to go in. Lux used her snare, and then he's like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to go in. Now he's going to go in when I'm not there. It is what it is. There's no reason to flame your teammates when they make mistakes like that. You shouldn't even type to them when they do things like that, because it doesn't do anything. Just ignore it. Pretend it like it doesn't happen. Didn't happen. He hesitated and until the situation was clearly like we shouldn't go in, and then he went in. It's pretty common though. Pretty common. Got a blood scent. It's, not, it's on the locks. It's in the vicinity of Trist. It's gonna make it easy for me to get on her. Gonna Q through. Q attaches. They always flash late, but she was low health anyway, so. Alright, she was low health after I queued her. I want to go lay my Herald before the 14 minute mark. That way we can get plates before they fall off. My R is coming up. We're going to W from Bush. We're going to run him down before we R. We're going to fear early. That's awkward. I had to fear early because I didn't want to fight him like too deep underneath the turret. I'll go lay my Herald top side. Should be free. You don't want to waste your fear on Scuttle unless like you can solo the enemy jungler without your fear. Because if your fear is down and the enemy jungler shows up, it's really bad. Alright, I need to get this down like right now. Herald scrapes two plates and a sliver. This should take the turret. We'll run her down in melee before we hit her. Auto attack, Q reset, fear, finisher, because this Lilia, I don't trust her. And we just got first turret gold. That's a bunch of bonus gold. I think it's like extra 200 or 300 gold. It's a lot for first turret. Oh, wait, it wasn't first turret gold. I'm sorry. The enemy's got our turret first turret. That sucks. I was wondering because normally it says like how much it is. I think we lose dragon. I'm sitting on like 4k gold, so I kind of need to back. I really like plated steel caps over any other boots on Warwick. Because like they make you super tanky against dragons, barons, monster camps, turrets. Alright, I've got Titanic now. We'll go for... Probably just Divine Sunderer. Would make the most sense. Divine would be pretty damn good. Sunfire Aegis wouldn't be bad, but... They do have triple range champs to where I'm only going to be using my Sunfire Burn against really their two melee champs, which I don't think is really worth it. Should be getting the speed up from Hecarim, but my thing's kind of bugging out. I'm going to R. Auto attack Q through. I have my Ghost on. She's dead. <laughs> nice. I got Ghost resets too. If you get Killer or Sis one, you're on Ghost. It adds duration. It had six seconds, and then later on in the game, it'll add seven seconds. So I'm still really fast. So one of my team's trying to surrender. Probably, yeah. The, who is it? Who's trying to surrender? Oh, I guess the Rengar. I guess he's sad that he lost bot lane. He's probably going to go farm my camps now. It is what it is. We just got some kills, so we can take their camps. Whether my team likes it or not, I'm going to make us win. Like, even if they try to surrender or play... Like one in three, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna type to them. I'm not gonna ping them. I'm just gonna carry them. Yeah, he stole my red. Uh, we'll get this Herald. If you're gonna end games, you need both Heralds. That means you need to take the first Herald before the 13 minute mark. So you can get the second one. Wow, she's really cocky, man. If I had my R, she'd be dead. I'm really fed and she has no HP items. I'm really hoping this red buff's up. 
Their, their ball is missing now, so I'm a little scared. If they come over here, I'm going to have to give this. I just read... I smited it. I'm going to already get to the hacker room, save Lilia also. Triss is kind of scaring me a little bit. I didn't realize that it was rotating. I thought it was just me and Lilia, and I thought the situation was going to turn really bad. We'll get this Herald, and we'll try to get at least two turrets with it, if not an inhibitor. If you're trying to maximize Herald value, you usually want to kill a few enemies before you lay it. That way they have less people to fight it. So it's like you get to just maximize it really hard. Go ahead and smite it. I'm actually not going to lay it right now because they just spawned back in. We'll only get a turret and a half at best. So I'm going to hold on to it. You can take Blue and Gromp at the same time once you have a Tiamat item. I have Titanic, so taking them at the same time is pretty efficient. Just taking my camps. I have 130 CS, 17 minute mark. That's really good for Warwick. If you don't rush Tiamat or Sunfire Aegis, this isn't possible because you, you clear clear camps like these too slow. A bunch of goofballs over there. Bunch of goobers. My R's up in a little bit. I don't want to be shut down. I'm going to back at Divine Sunderer. And then we'll finish this game. Their most fed characters are their ADs, Trist and uh, Aatrox. We'll go Thornmel next. Thornmel's really, really good. Stops people from healing off you on Warwick. You have your R to apply at 60% heal cut on Bramble and Thornmel. If they are just autoing you, it's only 40% heal cut. So they're going to heal 100 per hit. They're, now they're only healing 60. But if you hard CC them, then they're 60% heal cut for three seconds, which is really nice. Uh, it's going to be hard to do anything. They're all five grouped. I'll just take my Herald bot. I don't trust these teammates at all. I don't want to fight 5v4 over here. I'd rather just come over here. I like to generally hold on to Red Smite since it's so OP. It's like a little exhaust against champions. I'm in a hurry though. I need to get this turret. I don't want my Herald to take too much damage. Team's fighting without me. The fight's actually going pretty well for the team. It was at least. They're trading off two for two. I'll head over. I have my ghost. Oh, that was awkward. My R was showing it had a lot more range than it did. It's like I temporarily lost my W movement speed. My R should have reached the Tristana there. Oh yeah, she used her heal. She's scared she's gonna die. That was a shame. <coughs> that was a big shame. We'll get this dragon. They only win if they get Salt or if they get my shutdown. Or I guess if they get Lilia shut down plus her mesh stacks. Doesn't matter even if she landed that on me. It's not going to do any damage. Got turret. I'll wait for Lux. Hey guys. Cool, team got a kill, that's huge. Big stuff, my R's coming up, we can fight here. I'd like my E to also be up. We could get off a double fear. Fear them, Arthur Trist. <laughs> I feared them. I just CC'd their whole team. That's funny. Trist stopped at auto me, which was a mistake. I grabbed her out of the air with my R. Suppressions and uh, displacements cancel jumps take this dragon we still haven't actually died yet that's good you don't want to die like even if i kill three of them and i die that's bad because they get a thousand gold from killing me and at most from killing three of them i'm only going to get 900 gold so when you're fed don't don't have the mindset of oh i need to go in and fight one versus four because we're just going to throw the game anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this easy 66 percent win rate warwick carry jungle commentary guide if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time